lots to talk about here at IFA. Our next guest is uh, creating a future where people live better by having robots do household work for them. And of course, that may very well be the start of a lot more cool things going on. The founder and CEO of a company called Trifo is Jia Jiang. Did I say that even close to being correct? Yeah, that's <laughs> totally correct. How are you, sir? <laughs> good, good. Thanks a lot. Certainly, you're getting a lot of attention at the Trifo exhibit. Tell me first ab about the company. What, what is Trifo all about? Yeah, so uh, Trifo is an AI home robot company. So uh, it, it was founded in early 2016. Okay. So right now it's three and a half years um, old. And you say <laughs> AI home, so artificial intelligence home. Exactly, huh? okay. exactly, yeah. So our vision is to create um, a, a lineup of uh, robots which can really help people uh, uh, live better and doing uh, work more effectively at, at the same time having fun. Ah, and of course you brought Max along with you. It's yes. just one of those very robots that you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what is the, it's a, it's a robotic vacuum cleaner. And again, mm -hmm. if you're not yet watching the video, be sure to run at your earliest convenience to intotomorrow.com and check it out. Uh, but I can even already see a camera I don't know if Chris can get in that close with his camera, but there's a camera there. What would the camera be doing on the robotic vacuum? Yeah, that's a very great question. So uh, we specially designed uh, Max to have this uh, single camera. We use a very professional global shutter camera, so both for its localization and mapping. So what it means is when the robot moves around, so it sees things from multiple angles, from different distance and orientation, so it calculates the distance uh, so to build a map of your home at the same time tracks itself the position and the orientation so it knows where it is. Now the first important question because I can kind of hear my audience yelling in my head about a map of my home. That doesn't sound safe. <laughs> but I, I, I want you to assure me you're not getting that map or using that map or sending it to burglars or anything like that, no. right? Nothing. <laughs> we take uh, privacy very seriously. Good. So every co uh, computation, every bit of computation is on the robot itself, on the edge end. And uh, all is local, so it calculates itself, uh, map the surroundings, uh, everything is on its uh, CPU. And speaking of the, what, uh, the CPU, it is a four-core, 64-bit ARM uh, CPU. Oh. Very modern, advanced uh, CPU, which Almost enables sounds it. sounds like a laptop in the robotic vacuum. <laughs> its computing power is like uh, the smartphone three or four years ago. Well, so yeah. it is. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, and one of the things that you mentioned off the air is that he can patrol your home. Yeah, so he, I'm saying it, it could be a she. <laughs> it, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, <laughs> but you, you're naming it Max. Max, so, so it is he. We're going to yeah. assume he. All right. Yeah. Uh, and how does it patrol the home then? Do, you know, can we access the camera at any time? Is it storing video as it does its job mm -hmm. and keeps an eye on the house? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, uh, what it sees is just a bunch of images, but uh, behind it, it extracts the salient points. What whatever is interesting to the robot itself, and then uh, calculate the distance of uh, the points it, it feels interesting, and only use all those sparse uh, 3D points to localize itself. And whatever the map uh, we are talking about is just a bunch of sparse points. Okay. So nothing really, uh, you know, video or, uh, you know, still pictures uploading to the cloud. Oh, nothing, good. Nothing so for that. Uh, again, back to the privacy concern, yeah. we're not uh, shooting video all around the house yeah. and wondering no. where that's going. It's yeah. just mapping those points uh, mm -hmm. for information. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And since it is a camera and it is a moving, uh, moving mobility platform, so uh, we feel we can bring the user experience to one more step forward if and only if the user allows it to uh, stream the video to their cell phone. Nothing's uh, saved in the cloud. It's just the streaming exactly like your home uh, video surveillance camera. Oh, okay, like accessing the camera in your driveway or something to see yeah. if the car is there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and also the user can have the control on the smartphone to decide if it's open or closed. And if you are at work and you want it to uh, patrol and see your home uh, for a video surveillance purpose, you can open it 
and check it out. And because it has uh, its own designed uh, route and where it's going, localize itself, so it can go automatically by its own, or you can manually control like a toy car. Okay. And it's very fun. <laughs> so you can have it run around the house uh, at your leisure and actually yeah. whatever direction you want to yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, and that's kind of cool. And one step further, we even put the uh, microphone in it so it's exactly like a video surveillance camera you can see and hear what it sees and hear in your home oh. so this way if somebody uh, your family in your home you can even like the two-way uh, video audio oh okay uh, so you can speak to someone maybe even say hello to the dog yeah, yeah. <laughs> if the home alone is so your dog yeah. uh, is not alone anymore yeah exactly <laughs> is it available now uh, it will be available in late October okay. uh, in, US, this year. in U.S. first <laughs> okay. and in Europe. Uh, that's why we are here. Yes, <laughs> in the U.S. first. All right, good job. <laughs> yeah, we have this in uh, Santa Clara, okay. uh, 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 yeah, California, and then Europe uh, uh, probably early next year. Okay, terrific. Yeah. And do you have a price yet for it, retail price? Uh, for now, the retail price in U.S. is four forty nine U.S. Okay. dollar. All right, yeah. four hundred forty nine dollars. Yeah. And more information at your website, trifo.com, T-R-I-F-O dot com. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Delighted that you're launching a product first in the U.S., <laughs> especially at this show in Berlin. We frequently hear, well, it's here on, you know, in, in Europe first, or it's in Asia first, and then the U.S., it's nice that being Santa Clara, California based, <laughs> it's like, oh, that's home. You got to launch it there. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Thanks a lot for it, the time. It's our pleasure. Trifo.com for more. We'll get you there too when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. More from Berlin, Germany, and IFA here on the Advanced Media Network. We hope you don't miss a minute of the show. <laughs>